Part 7, Directed Numbers. You will find this on page 10 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to Success. Directed Numbers. That includes the negative numbers as well as the positive numbers. So just as the positive number line goes 1, 2, 3, the negative number line is going negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Okay, working with negative and positive numbers. Addition and subtraction. When the signs are the same, they, that means both negative or both positive. Now, if there's standing no sign in front of a number, like it was previously, no sign, then remember it's actually a positive. Also remember that the number grabbed the sign in front of it. So there is standing positive 2 and positive 3. So the signs will be the same, positive, positive, like in primary school. But let's look on, uh, let's look on a number line. So I'm standing at 2 and I go in a positive direction, 3 units. So that's right, 1, 2, 3. And my answer will be 5. But let's look at the rule. Um, if the signs are the same, you keep the sign. Now remember, if there's no sign, the sign will be positive. So you keep the sign and you find the sum. So you add the numbers. Okay, let's look at the next one. Negative 4, negative 2. Remember, the number grab the sign in front of it. So the signs will be the same. So let's first look on the number line. You start at negative 4 and you go 1, 2 in a negative direction. That will mean left. And my answer will be negative 6. Okay. But if you look at the rule, the signs are the same. You keep the sign and you add the numbers. So 4 plus 2, that will be 6. Okay. Let's look what we do we do if the signs are different. Okay. Now, remember, if there's no sign, the sign will be positive. So this is positive 1 and negative 4. That's different signs. So I start at positive 1, and I go 4 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. And my answer will be negative 3. Or, let's look at the rule. When the signs are different, you subtract the numbers and use the sign in front of the bigger number. So look, there's 1 and there's 4. So the bigger movement will be 4. So I subtract 4 minus 1, that's 3. And I look, I keep the sign in front of the biggest movement, and that's 4. So the sign will be negative 3. Okay, let's look at this one. The signs are different. This is negative 3, and this is positive 5. So, okay, this is negative 3. So I go in a right direction, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer will be 2. So what do I do? I subtract. So if I subtract, I get 2. Now what's the bigger movement? Is it negative 3 or is it positive 5? The biggest movement is positive and that's why the sign will be positive 2. But if it's a positive, I do not have to write the positive. Okay. I want you to do with the following examples. Let's just move it up a little bit. Okay. You can do for me number C, number G, number K, and number O. Okay. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. Try now eight. So let's start at number C. So this is four minus nine. Now remember, if there's no sign, the sign will be positive. So can you see that the signs are different? What do I do if the signs are different? I subtract the numbers. Okay. So if I subtract, I'll get five. Okay. And then I used the sign in front of the bigger number. So the biggest movement, was it negative 9 or was it positive 4? That was negative. And that's why the sign will be negative. So my answer will be negative 5. Okay. If I look at the next one, that will be number G. 
and that's positive 11. Okay, let's first leave it out. I'm just going to make it another color. That was actually standing 11 minus 21. Now remember, if there's no sign, it's positive. So can you see that the signs are different? Okay, what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. So if I subtract this, 21 minus 11, what will I get? I will get 10. But now I look. What is the biggest movement? Was it negative? Is that the bigger number or that the bigger biggest number? So actually, this was the biggest movement. So that's why the sign will be negative 10. Okay. If I look at number K, it's negative 25 plus 11. Again, the signs are different. Now, what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. So if I subtract that, I will get 14. And again, what is the biggest movement? Is it negative or was it positive? That's the biggest amount. So it was, so the answer must be negative 14. Okay. I'm just going to do also number B. I know I didn't include it, but I just want to because the signs are the same. So in number B, it will be negative 4, negative 11. So what do I do if the signs are the same? I keep the sign and I add the numbers. So that will be negative 15. And then if we look at number O, it's like a combination. So it's 7 plus 5 minus 4 minus 12. Okay. Now, first add, remember, if there's no sign, it's a positive. So, first add the ones with the same signs. So, 7 plus 5, that's positive 12. Now, if the signs are the same, I add the numbers. So, that will be 16, and I keep the sign. And what do I do if the signs are different? I subtract. Is this positive biggest movement or was negative 16 the biggest? Negative 16. And that's why the answer will be negative. So first add the ones with the same signs and keep the signs and then follow the rule of signs are different. Where I subtract and I keep the sign in front of the biggest movement. Okay. And this is how we will work with addition and subtraction of negative numbers.